we have um, a table of positions and times, uh, position of a, of a driver, and we want to find these average velocities. So in general, average velocity is a position at time two minus position at time one, that's the change in position, over the change in time, time two minus time one. So we're going to do that for each of these. We have a s of 4 minus s of 1 divided by 4 minus 1. And we just use our table. So s of 4 is 64 minus s of 1 is 4 and divided by 3. So that's 60 divided by 3 is 20. And let's put our units on this. This was uh, position over time, so that's feet per second. For part two, right here, we'll do S of four minus S of two over four minus two. So S of four was 64. S of two is 12 divided by two. So that's 52 divided by two or 26 per second. For part three, we have a three and four, so s of four minus s of three over four minus three. So that's 64 minus s of three is 28 divided by one. So 64 minus 28 is 36. That's 36 over 1, so just 36 uh, feet per second. For 4, we have uh, between 3 and 5. So S of 5 minus S of 3 over 5 minus 3. S of 5 is 180 minus S of 3 was 28 divided by 2. And so this is uh, 152 divided by 2, which is 70. Six feet per second. All right. I will do five. It's from between four and five. So we do s of 5 minus s of 4 over 5 minus 4. So that's 180 minus 64 over 1. All right, and that's going to be uh, 116 feet per second. And finally, 6, we've got between 4 and 6. So s of 6 minus s of 4 over 6 minus 4. So that's 240 minus 64 divided by 2. I'll divide each of these by 2 first. So that's 120 minus 32. And that is 88. feet per second. All right, so that's a lot of different, uh, different values here. And part B, we want to graph S as a function of T and then use the graph to estimate the instantaneous velocity. So uh, we need our axes. And uh, we've got six different values. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And um, let's see, the highest value we have is 240. So we'll put that up here. Um, so that's 240, maybe 120. 
60, 30, 90. So we're going up by 30s here. Um, so 150, 180, 210. All right, now we'll kind of, we'll just plot our points. Um, we've got 0, 0, 1, 1, 4, which is nice and tiny, 4, uh, 2, 12, 3, 28. So 2, 12, and then 3, 28. And then uh, 464, 5180. So 464, uh, 5180. And then uh, 6 and 240. All right, so if we connect these with the curve. Yeah, that's our, our curve. Okay, now, of course, I could be doing anything in between. We don't really know, um, but uh, that's just a nice little estimate of what it could be. And now we want to estimate the instantaneous velocity at 4. So we come up to 4, and we're just going to draw a tangent line there. So use my line tool. There's our point at 4. And look at that tangent line. And there's our line. And we like to find the slope of that line. Uh, that's kind of convenient. It went through this point. It also went through 3, 0. And so we just need the slope of this line. So that y value, which was, uh, I believe, 64. Yeah, 64. And then minus uh, that y value, which is 0. And then divide it by the 4 minus 3. And that gives us 64. And that's, of course, feet per second. That's our estimate for the instantaneous velocity at uh, t equals 4.